What other Legend of Zelda game gives you three days to save the world from pure annihilation by Moon Crash? Having the power to turn back time every last few minutes to three days ago to try again over and over again till you get it right? And then you have to beat the scourge of demon faces, Majora. Well, um, no other uh, game than Majora's Mask. My favorite Legend of Zelda game, the game that got me interested in Legend of Zelda as a series, Majora's Mask, though, is sadly an NY title, though I most definitely will play in the future because I love the game so much. I think the game is clever, has lovely music, uses cool aspects of the three-day time limits, uses the ability of Mask to gain power, and so much more. Man, one day I will play. I, I promise myself. That is a promise to myself. Number 50, Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. Welcome back, guys. Um, <sighs> well, mm, last time we finished 60 through 51, and today we'll be covering 50 through 41. Man, we're getting really close to finishing up, so let's pick up the pace here. Let's get straight into this. The fourth Pokemon game on this list, and not the last, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, a remake of the famous Hoenn region title, Pokemon Sapphire and Ruby. Alpha Sapphire blew other games out of the water along with its partner, and they were the, uh, the second title to show off uh, Mega Evolution and brought back the cool characters from the original series, uh, or the, the original games, uh, making a sweet mix of retro uh, style and modern style to, uh, to the table with this game. Updated music, new Pokemon, new mechanics, and probably the most secret locations I've ever seen in a Pokemon game. I may be wrong about how many there are, but um, it, it just seemed that way. Um, it's such a cool, interesting game that I still find reasons to play it again even now. Number 49, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Where do I start with you? Fire Emblem Fates. Fire Emblem is my favorite Nintendo series at the moment, so I'll try not to drag this one on too much. Um, I guess I should start by saying all of the music are bops. Anyone could sit down and watch a song, but none can listen to Fire Emblem uh, Fates songs and not sing or dance. It's beautiful, fantastic, great work, guys. Next up, um, the battle system. Uh, more Fire Emblem than ever, more enemies, classes, it just gets better. Up next, sorry, um, story. Story in all three versions of Fates is pristine. Each path you feel you are the hero, the fated hero of Hoshido and Nor. Uh, or in Revelation, the hero of your own path. Lastly, the characters and uh, are perfect and better than ever. The characters are now iconic and appear in the Fire Emblem popularity charts alongside famous characters like Marth and Roy, uh, such as like Corrin Bean and Smash, now with all the big guys. Anyway, um, I think my work here is done. Number 48, Fire Emblem Fates. Here's an awesome NY title for you. Once more an RPG, but slightly different. Earthbound Slash Mother, an incredible franchise that is now sadly at rest, but still lives in Smash. The series is funny, inspiring, creative, and has a history of games made after in contribution. Um, 
Earthbound sadly didn't have that many people uh, that recognized it due to various problems with the release outside of Japan, but the games are nonetheless fun and fantastic time passers. The music is heroic and the characters ecstatic. I can't think of a series that's more in depth than this one. All because of one man too. Thank you, Shikasato Itoi. Your work will never be forgotten by those who recognized your true dream. Number 47, Earthbound, a series, slash mother, a series. <coughs> Another Lego game, actually. Um, I said in my last Lego title that it was hard to choose, so I chose a few different ones. Um, Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham showed, uh, showed off more characters than ever. Superheroes, villains, civilians, and more. The story was creative, levels fun, worlds uh, in large number. There was never nothing to do, at least not till at the very end. There was always a little more fun to be had, whether it was in, a, in the Batcave, the old Batcave, the Green Lantern world, the Hall of Justice. Um, I like games with a lot to do, I'll, I'll be honest, and this basement was a true treasure trove. Uh, yeah, uh, like I said, there was there was fun mini games, fun ways to collect all the characters, which very much took a long time. There were a bunch of different ways to get studs, um, and all of that was just a lot. And that was such a good game and such a good series of Lego Batman games because I I'd, I'd always loved the Lego Batman games. So um, yeah, I'm carrying this on. Number forty six, Lego Batman Three Beyond Gotham. This game was amazing, and today is still a strong title. Uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, I believe. It's either 2 or 3, but uh, a game where you build your own theme park however you want. Snowy, warm, wet, full of animals, rides, food stands. There are thousands of possibilities uh, for the uh, creative mind. Then you're able to also personalize your staff and visitors how you'd like, with their names, how they looked, where they go. There were so many options, and it made you feel powerful and observant. When you failed at something, the game didn't make you feel as bad. The game is the pinnacle of my past. When I think of great past games, the title is famous amongst my family and today is still rem remembered and recently played, I think a few months ago. Uh, so that pretty much... Um, so that's pretty much a hard explanation about what the Roller Coaster Tycoon games are, but um, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, or 2, I can't remember. I put this game on here mostly because it reminds me of Roller Coaster Tycoon. In the latest uh, uh, Direct, the latest normal Direct, at least for me, not Smash Direct. Um, we saw City Skylines appear. I thought the game seemed interesting, so I gave it a go. It was extremely hard at the start, and, and that's something that everyone knows um, if they've played the City Skylines series, but uh, eventually I got the hang of it, and it was real fun then. But I really dislike the many variables and needs to help your city thrive. I still think it's very good and has many cool aspects. I think the, the reason I put it higher than the others, though, it's because I, I just haven't had that good of experience, uh, and not experience, the, and, I, and I've not experienced the good stuff yet, so, uh, I think, um, yeah. Uh, number 44, City Skylines. Okie dokie, I've told you the story of the original Smash Bros before. Went to my cousin's house once, he had the game and consoles, so we booted it up and played some rounds, and I loved it. It was really cool. <laughs> the old music was powerful, the speed held still through the years, and uh, and movesets have, have, have hardly changed. 
uh, the game is awesome to me because of how old it is and yet how much it, it, the same it is. Plus, they all say nothing. Uh, uh, they all say nothing beats the original. So, there you go. A bit short, but uh, what else can I say? Um, except uh, it had a, uh, some cool features like with the modes and stuff. Yep. Um, number 43, Super Smash Bros. 64. <clears throat> Welcome to the hottest fitness game ever. We Fit and We Fit Plus were awesome. Even if it was uh, it was all ruse to get a six-year-old child less fat, the mini games were fun and everything else was simply enjoyable. And don't let me start talking about the music, cause that's iconic and glorious. This game also showed off primar uh, primarily the uh, the We Fit board, which was seen more uh, many more times within the Wii's lifespan. The game was so popular that the Wii uh, Fit Trainer got into Smash. Do you know how hard that is? This game was real fun, and it could be more fun if it wasn't a game about fitness, but who cares? I know gamers do, but I don't, because I'm a Nintendo gamer. Don't use cheat codes for this game, or you're a wimp. Number 42, we fit. So, today we've had a variety of games, uh about um of involving building worlds but uh not as many as super mario maker a near infinite amount of stages can be made here and posted for anyone to play if you have some amiibo you can link worlds as well with other characters available uh through amiibo but besides that you can design levels how big or small you design the item to use which enemies mechanics which design which game design what location and its music um Mm. Need to swallow there. What uh, sound effects and effects in general appear? It's fantastic. I've played it multiple times with the Harry Gamer, and I've loved playing every time I had. There's so many possibilities for awesomeness in this game, and truly, an unnumerable amount of ways to play. Number forty-one, Super Mario Maker. Thanks for watching, guys. Did you uh, did you all enjoy? I hope you all enjoyed because uh, if you did, please feel free to leave a like uh, behind and subscribe if you please. Next time we'll be covering 40 uh, through 31. Almost there now, guys. It's been an awesome series. Um, like, uh, very good series. I'm. Definitely going to have to watch these when I'm older because obviously my opinions got changed. I'm going to play other games. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying this. It's probably because I write way too short in my scripts. Future Logan, I hope you, I hope you uh, write longer scripts one day. But um, again, I'll see you all later. Goodbye, mate. <laughs>